Well, what was your reaction when the injury was revealed to be, you know, broken toes? Because I think some fans and pundits thought it'd be a more, like, maybe a little more serious injury than that. A little bit more what? Serious. S serious? I mean, hey, have you ever had a broken pinky toe? Yes. You have? Yeah. I don't know if I have had a broken pinky toe. Now, yes, it's probably the most insignificant of toes. I would give him that. I would give the, the pundits that. Um, I mean, I, I think there's actually a significant pop, uh, portion of the populace that their pinky toe doesn't even touch the ground. It's, I think it's called hanging toe syndrome. Um, but I think, if anything, you know, two things when it, when it comes, to, or a couple of thoughts on this whole thing. Obviously, the, the reason I've been able to, to sit out for as long as I have is because I'm not just a fighter. I'm a fighter who is a businessman and an entrepreneur and a father and I have all these things going on. And even when I'm not fighting, I have not called the UFC one time for a paycheck while I'm doing all of this stuff. I have money coming in, I'm able to support my family. Um, and then secondly, it also is just somewhat of a feather in my cap. If Connor was lined up against a lot of other guys, he probably would have pushed through and fought. But you don't wanna fight a guy like me um, with any kind of injuries and he's going to come into the next fight whenever it is with bumps and bruises um obviously he uh was hobbling around on it and probably said hey man there's no way i i could i could fight but i'm not fighting that guy and uh we'll just figure it out as we go and obviously when he when he put out that long statement i think the last line was chandler or not uh i guess what went through your mind there because like you seemed locked in for him and all of a sudden there's that Chandler or not, I think was the big sentence that kind of fans kind of circled out. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really even think about it much. Um, he tried to steal my tagline, though. I see what he did there with the see you at the top. Um, but, man, uh, I'm not really that worried about it. I mean, Connor can't, at this point, and I've said this publicly, I'm not letting him off the hook. Um, for a while there, yeah, of course, he, um, he would love to come back and fight somebody other than Michael Chandler with, with what I bring to the octagon. Um, I think uh, there's no way he comes back to the UFC and doesn't fight me. So if I do pivot, if there are other names being thrown out, if there are huge fights that I can, that I can go ahead and, and pivot and take, whenever he is ready to come back, his road back to the UFC goes straight through Nashville, Tennessee, and Michael Chandler, and that's it. One quick random, I had never heard of hanging toe syndrome. Is that a is random it true? fact in your Are you head? Googling it? Are you Googling no, it right I now? No, I wonder, did you Google it? I did Google it. I, was, I looked at my wife. I said, hey, sweetie, isn't there, isn't there a thing where people's pinky toe doesn't touch the ground? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. She's a doctor. She's like, I don't really know what you're talking about. There's probably, maybe, so maybe it's not an actual real medical term, but I, look, I Googled it, and I think it's called hanging toe syndrome. Well, he's got it. Also known as floppy toe. Floppy toe. All right. So, you know, so I think... Uh, I think it's my brother or somebody. I've definitely been around some people before where their toe does, their pinky toe doesn't touch the ground, and it, it's not a deformity or anything. It's completely normal. It's fine, but it was just kind of a joke that I made. And uh, as I said, I think you saw my tweet right after. I mean, no hard feelings. My heart is full. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. You know, that's that's how it is. You know, that man's putting his life on the line, training every single day, just like I am. And whether he should have, should not have, or whether I would have still fought without it or not, it's neither here nor there.